<laughs> Hi, welcome to week 14. Today on this very day, the Minnesota Vikings have defeated the New York Jets by a score of 30 to 24 in overtime. All right, so that is definitely one thing to be happy about today. The game started out looking great. Uh, unexpectedly great for us. First pass was intercepted by Gerald Hodge, who took it in for the score. So, just like that, we're up 7 nothing. However, the Jets' defense responded with a safety in the end zone. Later, the Jets took the lead. And I believe, yes, it was our former number 12, Percy Harvin, who caught the touchdown pass. But we answered back with a number 12 of our own, Charles Johnson, who caught a deep pass from Teddy Bridgewater, and it looked beautiful. And a great response. Later in the game, it looked like Bridgewater and Johnson were going to hook up for another touchdown, but oh my god, Johnson fumbles it in the end zone, towards the end zone, but... Jerome Felton was there to recover it, so, all right, we score. We get down to the fourth quarter. It's 21 all. We start moving the ball. That kind of rhymed a little bit. Yeah. Fourth quarter, 21 all. We get the ball. And we move into field goal range. So we're up 24-21. In the fourth quarter, we, we had a few times to put the game out of reach. I mean, we punt the ball. The guy must have punt, but our guy, we, didn't, we had a chance to recover it. Our guy, I don't remember who it was. Yeah, he could have just fell on it, but eh. So the Jets get the ball, and they move into field goal range, and we get a 24-24 tie. And now there's just about, there's less than like, it's like less than a minute left. And Bridgewater and our offense moves downfield. He had a few nice plays, nice throws there. And the second ch chance we had to put the game away, yeah, it was to win the game. Blair Walsh, I don't know what happened there. It just, it, the kick looked bad the second his foot touched it. So we go into overtime. Um, we lose the coin toss for the second time in two games this year. But and I wasn't too worried about the Jets scoring a touchdown because they they don't they just didn't seem like a touchdown scoring team that day. So they get the ball, they start moving only to half the punt because they weren't close enough to the field goal range, and so alright, we have a chance here. And so, yeah, it's, now it's, okay, it's third down and six. Bridgewater calls an audible. Gets the ball, throws a short pass to Wright, and Wright pretty much breaks a few tackles and turns on the Jets. Uh, that that, that, that kind of sounded, that kind of that came out wrong. But you know what I mean, he... Once he got through that first down marker, he was off to the races, and I'm just like, oh, yes, he's going all the way. And he did, and we won an 87-yard catch and run by Jarius Wright, and we win. Overall, Teddy Bridgewater, I thought, looked pretty good, and this looked really good in this game, actually. I mean, he did have an, a pick, but that was like a deep pass. But yeah, he, he threw for over 300 yards, and yeah, two of our rec two receivers, Charlie Johnson and Jerry's Wright, caught for over 100 yards. And another receiver, Drag Jennings, also had a pretty good game. I mean, he didn't get it for over 100, but he was still making some big plays when it counted. Our running game, well, it was, it did what it, it did its best. It did all right. I mean, Jarek McKinnon, yeah, he's injured for the season, I believe. So, so Asiata was our main guy, and although we didn't, the only 
the biggest, the longest run we had of the day, the day was that reverse handoff to Jarius Wright for 23 yards. Overall, there's really not too much that I can really add or complain about, really. I mean, it was a, kind of a sloppy game, but an exciting one. I mean, there were a few fumbles there, but it was it was pretty competitive, back and forth action. And, but the Vikings would get the betterment of the situation, and they would go on to win this one. Anyway, this is JNix10 signing out, saying... Go Vikings.